I'm just very happy to be back in Plymouth. You know, I've got a lot of uh, fond memories and of, of the city and uh, I'm just passionate about being back in working in the music industry. So, so I'm a part of the senior management team. So I look after the client service department. So that's anything that would be the clients so like the artist. So I look after the events team, the technical team and the arena team. So my main responsibilities are you're making sure all the tech equipment and the tech team are happy and everything's functioning, making sure the arena is prepped and ready for the show and working alongside the CEO and the events team um, on the program and just, yeah, speaking to promoters and just, um, yeah, working on our calendar to make it the best we possibly can. That's the thing about the pavilions. That's what we want to be known for is, you know, standing shows, big bands coming here and, um, you know, especially for us getting people here and having it full, you know, it's, it's, it's really important. I think now that we're seeing more people come out and about and uh, coming to live shows, which, you know, we're, we're seeing at pavilions just, you know, with Sam Fender last week, um, we're just seeing a return of promoters having the confidence just to book more bands and and we're you know reaping the benefits from that you know we we had one standing show last year which was busted but still you know a, a huge gig and this year I believe we're at about four now and we've booked in about three for next year and hopefully that will continue to to double as it has you know it's, it's really quadrupled but um yeah we're just seeing a trend of, of people returning to you know standing shows and we've got some ridiculously exciting things that I can't really talk about or reveal. The things I can talk about, the things that are on our calendar, you know, we're extremely excited for Fontaine's DC. Um, arguably one of the biggest bands at the moment after the Glastonbury set. Um, that's, you know, I believe it's now sold out. So that's that's really amazing. And it's really good for, for Plymouth, I feel, to get like a band as cool, as relevant as that. Incredibly excited for them. Incredibly excited for Rag and Bone Man. Um, I just mentioned I come from Brighton, so you know he's a Brighton local. We've got Ben Howard. Really looking forward to, and uh, yeah, just a few things I can't really mention at the moment, but um, hopefully pull off and we'll be um, yeah, revealing soon. So one of the incentives we're really proud of is Pavilions Presents, <laughs> which is us looking at um, up and coming acts. They can be around the southwest, but also you know nationwide and. Um, getting them at the right time and bringing them to the arena and giving them that, that huge live music experience and, um, you know, with a, the hopefully a sold out crowd, but that kind of works through a thousand capacity. And um, that's an ongoing incentive that we're always looking for opportunities for that. You know, we're a real close team here and that's something that, you know, I really want to continue to to build upon. And, um, and just, you know, my passion in music, you know, we, we all have a real dear and rich passion for music. And we just want to see the best acts being brought to Plymouth. And we're always just working really close with our CEO on the programme. And yeah, and, and, and possibly putting on our own events in, in the future where we'll have more control of of our programme. And um, and yeah, and just bringing, you know, acts, you know, I, I, I know I mentioned Sam Fender previously, but, you know, how successful and how popular and how happy it made, you know, thousands of people, you know. That's really what we do in the entertainment business. It's making people happy and we really want that to continue. I've lived at many cities in, in my previous years, but um, you know, Plymouth's a really fun place. I think the people and the scene and uh, yeah, we've really got something here and um, we'll make that continue.